I gotta tell you something. Damn. Damn. So, you know, n normal volume for a company our size, you know, in the past, if we're doing 150,000 a month or something like that in revenue or 200, you know, that's that's decent. We changed our whole model over to a lot more wholesale deals. And a wholesale deal is where you, you buy a house, uh, you put it under contract, and then you sell that contract to another investor. So it's a cash transaction. And you make a you make a spread, right, on that. So we never actually own the house. So it's a, it's a, it's very common, it's done all the time. It's really, when you're a good marker and you can find the house before everybody else can, you can sell that house for a markup. They buy it because they can still flip the house and make a lot of money themselves. So it's a it's a win-win for everybody because they don't want to go out and find the house for themselves. They don't have the time or the money. Um, and we do all that. So we get paid for that. So this, what I'm talking about with Spencer is that I just looked at the report and saw that the team did $245,000 just this past month in 30 days, $245,000 in just wholesale splits. Doesn't include the renovations we purchased. So Coming off of COVID, we have had just, uh, it's been tough. I mean, it's been tough. We've, there's been, uh, there's been months you don't know if you're going to make it. I mean, honestly, when, 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 when COVID got shut down and when Cuomo shut things down here, it sucked. It was, uh, you know, we didn't know what we were going to do. The courts were closed. The courts are still closed. We can't evict anybody from our properties, but... The courts aren't closed, but they're they, they're not allowing evictions. But courts are just down the title companies, the counties, and they're making it really hard to do business here. Really hard to do business here, and it's been it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, and every time, you know, our nut is is a six figure nut. We have to cover every month, and if we are not making those sales, we have to dip into our own pocket, our own reserves, our own credit credit sources to cover that nut. And we go on faith. And as a business owner, it's scary. Look at you know you can act all tough all you want. I'm not so tough right now, but I'm I'm. You can act as tough as you want, but the truth is, it's scary when everything you have is on the line, and um, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know when the country's going to open back up. You don't know when the state's going to allow you to get back to work, and you're trying to figure it out. When all of my team used to work here in the office, and now it's just Amber and I here, and they all work from home. And you're not quite sure what's going on. You have to fix your CRM and you've lost your culture and you've lost all that stuff. And then on top of that, you lost your business and you lost your revenue. And just two months ago, we had a month with zero closings. Zero. And I just told you we have to pay over six figures a month to keep the lights on here. And we proudly did not lay anybody off during that time. And it hurt. It hurt and it was scary and it puts a strain on our relationship and it's tough. But I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm <laughs> emotional about it, but... What I'm very excited about is we're pulling out. Last month they had what was a really good month. I think it was whatever we just said it was 168,000 or something last month. That's a really good month for us. And then to to follow that month up with a 240 some thousand dollar, 245 thousand a month of just wholesale work, it's like this big weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So we're starting to survive again. All of my businesses got hit, you know, and my my speaking business and my home flipping workshop business got got almost decimated almost decimated and this business almost decimated and to be able to fight through that and come out of it i can tell you that you know there's a song that i live by from the 80s and there's a song in it from megadeth and this one song it says that that doesn't kill me only makes me stronger and so i can tell you this has been a this has been a um this has been a really challenging year really challenging year but i tell you what this is this is some killer news this is some killer news so i'm gonna go up and talk to amber and we're gonna do some culture stuff and uh, i gotta go up and tell her now she doesn't know i think she'll be a little bit shocked because that's a big freaking number that's a big number for a company our size we want to make that even larger as we grow and get nationwide we're looking to expand but we're figuring some shit out even though we got knocked down so let me go tell amber mm -hmm.